What up guys, it is Justice here and welcome to a new RuneScape video. This one focused on the new high level mobs to be introduced into the game today on the 16th of November. The third high level mobs to be introduced onto the game of RuneScape, Camel Warriors. These are located east of Sofenum. There are various different ways in which you can get to uh, the Camel Warriors efficiently and effectively. Uh, the most effective way is via the Max Guild Garden skill teleport. In order to use this teleport, you need to have at least one skill, that is 99. You then retune the skill portal to option number 7, which is the Luminous uh, Wisp area for divination. As you can see, I just showed you there on the map where it is, and you need to make your way northeast then to the island and go over the agility shortcut, which doesn't seem to have an agility level requirement. Not one which I could see anyway, but I am 99 agility. The other option is by right-clicking on a desert amulet and teleporting to Nardar, as you can see on the map here, then running down south to the island. I'm now going to walk you through the best options so far on the first day of release with a range setup on how to kill the new Slayer creature, Camel Warriors. Okay, so the best option, you want to start off just by tagging the camel into the Mirage phase. There are three phases with this fight, which makes it a very long fight, to be honest, for a Slayer creature. You're looking at the length of even slower than killing rune dragons at the moment. So you tag the camel warrior into the mirage phase. You then want to target the blood camel first. Otherwise, the blood camel will heal the other two gradually and also heal itself. So target the blood camel. Get that down as quick as you can. Use a rapid fire on it. You then want to target the shadow mirage of the camel. Make sure to stun block it with the two stun abilities there. Tight bindings and normal bindings, which is both basic and a threshold there. That stun blocks the camel to stop it from charging its adrenaline. Then finish it off with a threshold such as bombardment. You want to finish it off before its adrenaline bar hits 100%, before it can cascade its special attack onto you. That reduces your prayer by 250 points. So make sure to kill it. This is the best option. Uh, move on to the last camel, which is the smoke camel. This camel reduces your stats by 5% accuracy and 5% damage. So you want to take this one out as well. But last, because the effects and the uh, attack, special attacks of the smoke uh, camel isn't as deadly or as annoying as the other two. So once you take the smoke one out, you will then tag, you will then have to wait for the animation for the camel to transform into its third form. In this phase, the very last phase, you do not want to stun the camel at all. Otherwise, stunning it will provoke it to use its tornado attack. Now also, this camel does have an adrenaline bar. If the adrenaline bar hits 100%, it will unleash a deadly tornado. If you're stuck within it, it will hit constant 2Ks. So that's why you want to save your snapshot and your bombardment for this phase. Use basics. Uh, feel free to use my revolution bar, which I've got on screen. It has no basic stuns on there whatsoever. You do not want to use any stuns in this phase. And then just make sure you whip out your snapshot and bombardment and you will be able to kill it without having any tornado on you. Now I say tornadoes, aka sandstorms. Um, you won't see any sandstorms in this footage because I prevent them from happening. If you do get a sandstorm though, just make sure you move out of it due to maybe a lack of DPS in that phase or if you stun it by accident. A sandstorm essentially, if you're within it, it damage starts from around 48 and then it just keeps doubling and doubling on like the game tick. It's really fast, so just make sure you move out of it. Otherwise, that damage will stack up to a huge amount. You don't want to run back into the tornado either. Otherwise, you know, if you leave it for a bit of time and you run back into it, you're going to hit, get hit 2Ks. So moving on to the safe option, exactly the same method as the best option. However, instead of targeting the blood first, you target the shadow first. Now I call this the safe option because you want to stay on a trip for as long as you can, for at least 35 minutes for at least an overload, a full overload flash. So this method, you take the shadow one out first so it doesn't drain your prayer or has any chance of draining your prayer by 250 points. You then take out the blood one, which is the one which is healing uh, both the blood and the smoke uh, mirage. So you take out the blood, then you finish off by taking out the smoke mirage, and then that then transforms the camel onto the third phase, where again, you don't use any stuns, just use your basics, which I've shown you on the revolution bar, and then whip out your snapshot and your bombardment, and it should be dead before any sandstorms are unleashed. Now, the other method refers to having a Steel Titan. This requires 99 summoning, and I know not everybody's going to have this. So if you want to use a Steel Titan method, feel free. You can also wear a water, enchanted water tiara if you wish to do so as well, prevents you from being damaged by the desert heat. Exactly the same method as the previous two, or as the best option, sorry. However, the Steel Titan is going to be dealing a large DPS output along with yourself. So... 
as a whole, you're dealing more DPS throughout that boss fight. And therefore, it's going to be done quicker. You're going to get more kills per hour. You're probably going to reach up to more like 80 an hour plus. Uh, also, there's a lower chance again of that shadow reaching 100% adrenaline and it, um, you know, leeching your prayer. And also, you're going to get through the last, the last phase a lot quicker as well. So you have no chance of the camel reaching 100% adrenaline, which means no chance of tornadoes, meaning less food intake. What I forgot to mention on the previous two methods, within the Mirage phase, you want to be praying devotion, as you can see me on screen right now. You want to have devotion on. You always want to have magic protect pray on, except for the last phase where you can soul split switch if you want with range prayer, because the last phase the camel hits with range the majority of the time. Due to the kill speed, you will usually have devotion pretty much every kill. However, if you're killing them extremely quick, just rotate between devo and debilitate in the Mirage phase as the Mirage phase is where you're going to take most of the incoming damage. Just a few little trivia facts, you are not allowed to use Dreadnips on here, it literally comes up with a message on the screen saying Dreadnips are not able to be used in this environment or against this monster. There are various ways in which you can prevent the desert heat from hurting you, such as taking a couple of water skins or even just one water skin and taking the runes which you'll see on my inventory at the start of this video, fire runes, water runes and astrals. With the Lunar spell book, you can then cast the spell Humidify, which charges up the water skins with water, back to 4 out of 4. If you're using the Steel Titan method, or any of the methods really, you could in fact take a Tomb of Frost. This is a Dungeoneering item, which you can buy from the shopkeeper over in Demonheim. This reduces the amount of damage that you take from Desert Heat, but does not restrict it completely. You could even use an Enchanted Water Tiara, which you'll notice me use just trying out on this video. However, the only problem with that is that you have to equip it for it to prevent any desert heat from, uh, you know, damaging you, which means you're going to have less armor and defense rating and less uh, damage output if you're using a power helm. Another trivia is that the Camel Warriors, you're having to deal across the whole boss fight around 53k worth of damage approximately. And most of that damage you're having to deal is within the Mirage phase, where you're having to deal 33,000 750 damage as each of the mirages have 11,250 life points. Therefore you're having to deal a lot more damage across the whole of this fight compared to living wyverns, almost double the amount of damage actually than living wyverns, and the ripper demons at least another third worth of damage uh, than ripper demons, therefore making the fight last a lot longer and therefore less kills per hour. Realistically, you're looking at around 70 to 80 kills max per hour here at the moment with the methods we know about. Feel free to follow my revolution bar on the screen and also the inventory setup, which I'll show on the screen right now. Just pause the video and follow it. I don't have any Dreadnips in this inventory, unlike the previous high level mobs, like I said earlier, Dreadnips, are, you are unable to use them here. And also, feel free to follow my gear setup. I am using Serenic, however, you can feel free just to replace that with Pernix, which works fine here, um, or even Armadil. Uh, but yeah, Pernix is probably better here because you do want to deal enough damage before the camels reach that 100% adrenaline. With the first two methods on this video, I was using a Legendary Pet to pick up the drops for me and also using a Yak within that, a Beast of Burden for the extra food. If you are not using tier 90 weapons here, so if you're using any other ranged weapon that's lower than level 90, then it may be worth uh, tribriding with War Priest armor, or hybriding, sorry, with War Priest armor, and taking a melee switch at your level which you're at, such as Dry Gores, let's say, and meleeing the last phase. Make sure not to use any melee stuns. So there you go, first day of release guide for the Camel Warriors. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with people who might benefit from this. Good luck on your Slayer task, good luck going for the Raptor cosmetic armor, and may RNG Jesus be with you when you're on the hunt, and if you're on the hunt, for the tier 85 Camel Staff, which by the way, reduces your target's accuracy by 5% and applies a damage over time effect. Thank you for watching. Feel free to check out the previous high level mob guides which I've created on my channel for the Living Wyverns and the Ripper Demons on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.